Hey gang, still here on the 6th annual low carb cruise, although sadly back in the States tomorrow. Um, I'm here with Dr. Annika Dahlquist and Dr. Rolf Sundberg, part of the large and growing Swedish low carb high fat contingent who both have been kind enough to come and speak on the cruise. Uh, Dr. Dahlquist was instrumental in uh, getting the low carb high fat movement off to a strong start in Sweden. She was giving the advice to eat a low carb high fat diet and got sued for it yes and and uh and she took it to the government she showed them the research and fought back and they came to the conclusion that yes a low carb high fat diet does work and is safe and no she wasn't crazy or dangerous and uh and that really got a lot of publicity and made the movement very strong in sweden which is why we have this cool swedish contingent on the on the uh, cruise. Dr. Dahlquist, Dr. Sundberg, I would really like to know, uh, it's not a secret that we have a big, big problem with our healthcare system or lack thereof in the United States. And at this point, it seems to be run entirely by monetary interest. It seems to be entirely driven by pharmaceutical sales and by, um, you know, HMOs who want to keep their costs down and and aren't interested in some anything other than get the patient in, give them a pill, get them out. I would be interested to know what both of you think about the fact that Sweden does have a strong national health care program, what difference that makes to the advice people are getting. And uh, let's start with mm. you, Dr. Dawkins. Uh, well, it is, in fact, the same that the industry has a lot to, uh, to uh, influence. Uh, but when once the established professors and dietitians will uh, um, admit that uh, LCHF is the best, then perhaps they can uh, make the, the uh, national insurance system to work in that direction. But I think the industry will work against it as much as they can. It, it's been clear to me for a long time that there's a whole lot more money in people being sick than there is in people being healthy. Yes, yes I agree with uh, Dr. Dahlqvist on this issue. And uh, you see, even though we have socialized medicine in Sweden, uh, still it's the big pharma who is setting the agenda. They are um, choosing the experts for the consensus groups mm -hmm. uh, and so on. And basically they come to the same consensus as they do internationally as well in the United States uh, concerning the most central issues. So unfortunately we, we have a healthcare system that is even in with socialized medicine is driven by profit not for the government of course but but for the pharmaceutical industries and i i think that doctors in sweden they are very much unaware of this there are a few rare exceptions with uh, so, some older colleagues that realize this some 20 years ago, uh, but uh, mostly the young doctors, they, they are completely unaware of what is going on. Huh. I know that um, in general, I think that doctors in this country, in this country, I'm on a ship in the middle of the ocean, sorry about that guys, in the country I live in, um, are in good faith. They're not, they're not deliberately giving people bad advice, but I think that um, First of all, they're subject to the same addictions and emotional connections to food we all are, and it's got to be very hard for them to look at the way they eat and say, oh, well, you know, I need to give up sugar, I need to give up potatoes, whatever. But also, if you've been giving this same advice to eat a low-fat, high-carbohydrate high diet for 30 years, believing that you're doing people a service... It has to be very hard to admit to yourself in your own heart that you might have been hurting people. Uh, do, you, do you think that, I mean, that's the way it always has looked to me. Do you think I'm on track? It's just right. It must be horrible to admit that you have said the wrong advice for 30 years. Yeah. And it's, it's understandable. 
yeah. that they are, have a difficulty with it. Denial. But actually, there, there, there is a, a professor of internal medicine from Malmo in Sweden that he admitted we have been wrong all the time, and he admitted this on national radio. Uh, I was in that program. It was, it was about these, uh, the questions about saturated fat, and he, he had uh, performed uh, an, um, a study in Malmo on diet habits uh, and cancer, cardiovascular disease, and so on. And it was an observational study, but they found no evidence whatsoever that saturated fat is bad for you. And he came out, you know, uh, he, he told the truth, uh, but the, the, he's a rare exception from that rule. Yeah. I yeah. So um, we're happy about Joram Bailund. Yes. And, and hardly anyone cares if, if it comes uh, admittance like this. It goes on and on the same way as before. Yeah. They don't listen. Yeah. Hmm. I've, I've heard that actually uh, the way new ideas get accepted is you wait for the old guard to die, <laughs> um, which, is, which is sad but true. But yeah, I think there's a very real human denial, just not wanting to believe. Also, one thing I've noticed that's happened in the States is that uh, it seems to me the ranges for normal are being refined downward so that, you know, they used to say, well, if your cholesterol was over 200, you needed medication. And now they're saying, oh, everybody's cholesterol should be below 160. And I can't help but think that that's the cell Libertor. You know, uh, the, um, <laughs> the evidence is that, that uh, and that is from um, the World Health Organization, that in countries which have higher numbers of cholesterol, overall, there is better health. And overall, there is better survival rate. While in countries where the cholesterol numbers are lower, there, there is more mortality. And unfortunately, the United States is <laughs> on the wrong track um, because numbers are going down. And uh, actually, uh, health is not improving in the United States. And the death rates uh, are going up from a number of diseases. I've heard that actually uh, the young generation is the first generation that in a long, long time that is predicted that they may live a shorter lifespan mm -hmm. than their parents, which is mm -hmm. terrifying. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that, that the ranges are being narrowed specifically to uh, sell drugs or do you think there's validity to that or what do you think is driving that? It's uh, selling. It's a profit that uh, directs, yes. Okay. okay. Well. Thank you both so much, and um, I, I, it is so much fun to to, uh, to have the whole Swedish contingent on the on the ship. It's it's great, and I hope you all are coming back next year. So we, we hope so. We hope so. Okay, I also may contact you to see if either of you would would be willing to uh, write a little for Carbsmart magazine. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.